Hey guys! Today's video is going to be a little bit different. First of all, I'm not going to use any type of visco preset or filter. This has been requested by you guys since I understand that not everyone has visco presets and therefore it's hard to kind of follow along in the process. So I'm definitely going to be making more videos um, without using visco filters, so stay tuned for that. This is the first one and this is going to be kind of like a black background edit. Um, I guess you can say that this is going to be more like an alternative way of doing a black background. So I hope that got your attention and that you're intrigued to keep watching. The very first thing that strikes me about this picture is that it needs to be straightened. So I'm just going to quickly straighten it up a bit and make it more balanced. I also don't want it in the original uh, landscape crop, so I'm going to crop it closer in almost like a square crop, but not quite. So I'm just going to freehand the crop ratio, something like that. And the second thing that I know is that I do want this to be a black and white picture, so I'm just going to go ahead and click the black and white treatment. And after that, it's just really a matter of playing around with the highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, and clarity, a bit of the contrast, just to kind of get it to where I, I'm kind of getting a feel of where I want it to go. So I do want it a bit darker, I do want it a bit more contrasty. I'm also going to play around with the tone curve a little bit. This is just to help getting the tones right. I'm also bumping up the clarity. This is to get some more detail in the horse and the rider. So when I do feel that I have a good base um, that I can keep working on in Photoshop, I'm going to export the photo and bring it up in Photoshop instead. So what I'm going to do in Photoshop is make the background more even in its tone. I don't want as much of the textures of the wall in the background to be noticeable. I'm going to make a duplicate layer of the background layer here, and then I'm actually going to duplicate it twice, so I have three, a total of three layers of the same picture. I'm going to make sure that the, f the top layer, um, the one that says layer one copy, is not visible. And then I'm going to mark the second layer that is called layer one. And when that layer is selected, I can I can bring up the curves by pressing Command M. I'm on a Mac. Uh, if you're on a Windows computer, I believe it's Control M. That will bring up the curves that you can see right here. And I'm going to just overall darken the picture to the point where the details in the background kind of disappear and as you can see that just gives the background more of like an even dark tone but since it darkens the whole picture it also darkens the horse and the rider so to correct that I'm going to make the top layer visible again and select it and then you know that the dark layer is underneath this layer which means that we can select the eraser tool and with a pretty large kind of fluffy brush I'm going to start erasing where I want the darkness to be more prominent which in this case just means the background behind the horse and rider and as you can see I'm just going to kind of paint where I want the background to be darker I'll just keep doing that until I'm happy with the way it looks 
As you can see, I'm also darkening up some areas of the horse to just kind of make it look more cohesive and just kind of fit together in a better way. And there you get to see the kind of before and after what I just did. There's still um, a very textured part of the wall that's visible through the through the dark layer. I'm going to remove that with just the patch tool. I have a video um, that will be up in a couple of weeks that's going to be all about removing things in the background, so I won't get too much into it in this video. But as you can see, it's pretty straightforward in this case. And by bringing up the curves again, um, Command M or Control M, and then just brightening the picture um, like crazy pretty much, you can see that the patching I did um, on the background doesn't look very great, but once it's dark you won't be able to notice it, so it's fine for me. So I think that's it and I think I'm pretty happy with the way it looks now. I'm going to show you, of course, a complete before and after. And here you have a side-by-side -side comparison. The original isn't very striking, it's kind of flat, very boring. Um, I took this picture in 2009, so it's pretty old, and I just like stumbled upon it a few months ago and decided to give it some new life, and this is what I came up with. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one.